we are going with the next talk. Um, uh, we are going with the next talk, and it it, it is about. Uh, um, let me see. Uh, it is about uh, development and and prospect of RIE and uh, Earth and Open Source GIS web uh, app using Cesium. So we are uh, going to to welcome to Heidi Midi Baba, who is gonna uh, talk about that. And Heidi Midi, if if you are there and you can hear us. Um, Everything is yours. Okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I'm here. I'm hearing you. Okay. So, okay. so it's it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can. So could I start my presentation now? Yes. Okay. So first of all, uh, let me share the today's presentation slide here. Okay, this is uh, today's presentation slide. So if you like couldn't catch well, uh, please open that slide. Okay. Okay. So okay. So first, uh, Aura. And my name is Hidemich Baba, and I work at Yukaya Inc. Today, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, open source software, where that allows you to make 3D digital art project without coding. Today, this OS has been released. Yay. Okay, this is my problem of Sorry. Okay, so first of all, to get you the basic idea of Rears, uh, let me uh, show you demo video. Okay, this is what we can do uh, by using Rears. You can like map data on the Earth with GUI, and also you can play some point. And also, this project can be published. So the published project can be seen by everybody online. Okay, and this is my plan for today's talk. I'll start off introducing myself and our company. Then I'll talk about Rears, which is racing today, and followed by an overview of the product, including how we came to develop it, and its key features, and technical points of it. Finally, I will talk about uh, future plans for Rears. Okay. Uh, so once again, I'm Hiramichi Baba, and I'm a product owner and one of the engineers developing Rears. I enjoy communica communicating with people online, and I hope something I say will leave a lasting impression on you. And also, I love barbecue. Okay. So next, let's talk about us. We are Yukaya Inc. It's been more than four years since we were founded. Our business is web content creation and database development. We have 12 full-time employees. And two years ago, breaking national record in Japan, we raised 3 million yen in crowdfunding. Our company was founded by members of what is now the University of, uh, University of Tokyo's graduate school, Watanabe Hidenori Laboratory. It is famous for Hiroshima Archive. Watanabe's lab specializes in data visualization using a digital earth. And through this connection, we have received many orders for digital archive protection. We have been using CISM as a main tool for this. Here are a few examples of projects we worked on. The first is a project we were commissioned to do by Miami Apple City in Japan. And it's a map that displays local information so that local residents and tourists can learn about the characteristic of the region. 
The second project is a joint research project between Topan Printing and the University of Tokyo. The last project is this Nippon project, which was created with the intention of preserving the beautiful scenery of each region in Japan. Through many projects like these, from clients ranging from local governments, businesses to NPOs, we have gained a skill set that has allowed us to build a product like Reels. We are also actively involved in developing open source software. This is an open source library called Rhythm that we developed. It allows the developers to use Rhythm as React component and has gained over 400 stars on GitHub with a global user base. We have had workshops at Fosfosy in North America, as well as received inquiries from companies in the US, Israel, and other countries to collaborate with us through OSS activities. We are also several, we are also developing several other packages in the process of developing Reels. The first one is QuickJS MScript, uh, QuickJS MScript in Sync. It enables object exchange between the browser and the QuickJS. And next one is React Align, which is a component align system with drag and drop in React. And System D and D enables drag and drop of entities in System. In this way, through OSS development, we were committed to sharing our technologies with people all over the world and promoting development with our contributors. Okay, uh, thank you for letting me, me letting me get through our background. Now, let's move on to the main topic about Rears. Okay, so first question: What is Rears? Rears is a free open and highly extensive WebJS platform. Okay, first of all, uh, let me give you an overview of the service. It is a tool that allows anyone to make a 3D data map without coding. Rears aims to be the most innovative WebJS platform in the world. If you take away anything from today, this is the core of Rears, awesome WebJS. Okay, now let's take a look at some background to the project, changes, challenges we've faced so far, and why we decided to do this OSS. Through, through collaboration with the Watanabe Laboratory of the Tokyo University, famous for its Hiroshima archive, we, Eukarya, have been able to successfully build the foundations of Reels, provided with their know-how of data visualization and using our previous experience, we have created uh, some uh, created something we think is very useful for the OSS community. So why is it useful? I I'll explain what society needs and how related technologies are going. In recent years, the spread of infec infectious disease and the development of technologies have led to the need for structural changes in society through the integration of cyberspace and physical space. There are many possible use cases, such as digitization of administrative procedures, simulation and analysis of disaster damage, and digitization of infrastructure maintenance. At the same time, the basic technologies to realize them are steadily being put to practical use Examples include IoT or 5G or cloud and AI. On the other hand, governments uh, and other public organizations are also working on the development and distribution of 3D city model data in order to realize these goals. For example, in Japan, 3D data for each city is being released under the project Pluto. In New York, for example, they are releasing 3D data on Manhattan. However, a common issue can be mentioned. One common challenge, however, is that while the data and related technologies are at the practical stage, 
the software to ut utilize them must be developed by in each individual. The first is that each person develops the problem, but the development results are fragmented and inefficient. And secondly, only the engineers can handle the data, and it is not available to all. Lastly, the system is forced to be dependent on a particular vendor. We will try to solve this problem in the following ways. Sharing of development results since it's OSS and um, projects that can, that can be completed by UI-based commands, so it does not require coding. And to make it an open product by releasing it as OSS. So far, I have explained the development background areas and the and the problems it solves. Next, I would like to go a little deeper into some of the unique features of Rears. Here are five important features of Rears. No coding is required. 3D models can be imported and used. You can bring your own data to Rears and easily import it on the rear on the Earth. It allows you to visualize data with more expression and plugins allows us to develop our own features and share it with others. Okay, the first feature is this. So you don't need to code anymore. You can do everything through the GUI. So as you can see, okay, uh, so I zoom into Japan. And you can add data by dragging and dropping. Yeah, and a new marker had been added on the Earth. And with Infobox, which tell the more information about this marker, I can create a text block and I can type something. And also, I can add an image block here. So add image block and select the image I use. OK, in this case, I chose Rear's logo. OK, as you can see, uh, all of product creation can be done with GUI, and also it's shareable. Okay, next feature is 3D model. It is also possible to display 3D models on the Earth. Currently, GLTF format data is supported. It also supports 3D tiles format data, which can be used for simulations and analysis by displaying, displaying 3D cities. Okay. So in this example, I add a 3D model and choose which model I use. And it also support animation like this. Okay. So and the third one is data integration. You can import CSV file and GeoJSON file, KML file, and CZML file. If you import CZML file, uh, uh, CSV file, if it has a longitude and log um, longitude uh, column. Rears automatically detect that value and plot data on the Earth. And of course, the polygon also supported. Like that. OK, and the fourth feature is a flexible ways of expression. OK, so you can change tile map easily, like night, Earth, or as a tile map. Also, you can change the color theme of widget. And widget can be aligned on widget align system, like that. So these widgets can be aligned freely on widget align system. OK. And the, and the five, fifth uh, feature is plugin feature. 
any developers is able to extend functionality by developing their own plugins. In fact, most of the current features has been developed as official plugin. We can develop a widget that is displayed on the screen and a content block on an uh, infobox as plugin. In the future, we plan to develop a plugin feature that will allow you to incorporate layers on the earth and your own arithmetic operations. Okay. So this widget and this content block is what run on external plugin in this example. The plugin feature uh, allows us to support a widely variety of use case. In addition, for users, plugins developed by external developers can be used, thereby reducing development results. Here is a possible use case for REARS. Local governments use REARS to visualize administrative activities and disseminate and, and uh, disaster pre 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 prevention information. Museums can also open online art galleries and museums by mapping the images and the videos. And other numerous other users are also expected to use rears, including construction companies, logistics, and the, the publishment industry that publishes newspaper and magazines. So next, next uh, let's take a look at some of uh, the technical point of rears. This is the overview of rears, and this is the diagram of architecture. We use MongoDB as database, and we use Golang uh, as backend programming language. And frontend uses React and TypeScript and WebAssembly. And GraphQL is a query language, connect backend and frontend, and we use OSO as authentication server. Let's take a deep look. Okay, uh, front end, uh, front end architecture adapts, like partially adapt uh, atomic design, and that allows us to reuse component. And for higher pro productivity, we use Storybook and GraphQL code generator. Thanks to uh, uh, Storybook, we can like easily develop components and also get a full picture of components. And GraphQL code generators generate React hooks code and type definition automatically from GraphQL schema. So we don't need to write like lots of source code. And this is backend uh, architecture. Uh, the architecture backend, backend is based on clean architecture, domain driven design, and the standard goal project layout. These designs philosophies allow the business logic to remain independent of the other layers. Also, the domain model is encapsulated. In this way, parts of, uh, in this way, um, parts that are not related to business logic, such as database, framework, and authentication services are designed to be safe and easily replaceable. The final one is plugin system. The currently available plugins are uh, features that allows you to extend the UI-based functionality over years. These UI-based plugins will run safely in an um, iPhone. However, the only way for readers to interact with the code executed on iPhone is to use post message method. Therefore, we are using WebAssembly to enable safe and fast execution of the APIs provided by Rears. We are also planning to develop compute plugins in the future. This will make it possible to incorporate processing that Rears does not provide as a plugin uh, built-in feature, such as data conversion and supporting for specific data format. That concludes the technical point of Rears. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the feature prospects over here. The first one is plugin editor. Plugin editor function, as I mentioned earlier, external developers can build their own features into Rears. However, since it is difficult to test plugins currently, we will develop a feature that allows you to easily test plugins still under development. 
Furthermore, we are also considering outputting projects created with readers to media other than the web. For example, we hope to develop AR VR support. We are also thinking about how to display it on other type of screens like billboards and multi screen installations. We are also considering making the map engine replaceable. Currently, we rely on SISM, but in the future, we'll be able to select the map engine to use, such as Mapbox GL or Leaflet, so that they, we are not dependent on a specific software. Other features include support, support for real-time data. This allows readers to receive real-time data provided by external APIs and to display real-time uh, real -time data in published project areas. In addition, by developing public APIs, data can be collected from any API to readers and used as a data platform. Finally, there is a real-time collaborative editing. This will allow multiple people to work with the data conflict, just like Figma, Google Document, and Milo. And if we can do that, I assume it will be the first app that allows us to like real-time collaborate on like GRS. Okay, so with these features and the help of an ambitious developer community, Rias aims to become the most advanced WebGIS platform in the world. Lastly, we, all, we, are all, we also run cloud service hosting the OSS Rias. We are currently working on the pricing plan, but until it is decided, you can use, use it for free. If you would like us to issue an account, please apply using this form, this URL, and also try this QR code. An account will be issued uh, at a later date and you will receive an authentication email. Also, here is a website and the public repository of readers. In the repository, you can find the uh, up-to-date roadmap of the feature development, task management, Kanban, and, all, and so on. Please have a look and I hope you will be interested in Rears and become a part of Rears community. Please send us a request and issue or develop a plugin. Additionally, don't forget to give you a star on our public repository. Yeah. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. Gracias. Sorry, um, Mara, uh, do you mute? Um, sorry, uh, here we go again. <laughs> no problem. Thank you, thank you very much for your talk. Uh, very interesting too. And I, I, I was saying uh, to you that, the, that we have one question. So I'm, I'm gonna read it to you. Yes. Um, so um, here it is. Uh, you say that technologies for developing digital cities exist, but uh, the software that in integrate their capabilities need to be developed. Uh, but what about the concepts needed to guide uh, aims and development? What those uh, conceptual frameworks said about uh, what purpose and necessities have to cover with such a uh, kind of uh, software development. Yeah, I think that area was really nice. But uh, what I wanted to say is, if we can develop one product like together, we can reduce like like it will be more efficient, and we can save 
like each development resource, and we can develop the like best app in the world. So that's like that is our idea. Um, hey, Dimitri, you, you can hear me now? Yes. Okay. We, we have um, one more question. Yes. Um, thanks for your answer. And we have, let me see. Um, the next one is how will be the project be, be maintained and supported uh, financially going forward? Oh, sorry, uh, Mara, can you say the question again? Yes, uh, let me read it for you. Just one second. Okay. Uh, here's, here we go again. How will the project be, uh, be maintained and supported financially going forward? Okay, so uh, since the product is OSS, we can't make any money from like from our software, but we also run our uh, cloud service, and we like now we are like planning a new like subscri subscription plan. So we like we open our account for free, but in the future we will start our new subs subscription plan as cloud uh, service. So as GitLab or other like, yeah, as GitLab does, we'll have a subs subscription plan for cloud service, and our core main maintainer team will get a like arm um, fund to run our project. But software is public, so we hope our product can be used by everybody. And also, uh, when like some company, uh, we we run cloud service, but some company would like to deploy their their years by themselves, so we will support them to deploy their years on their server, or sometimes we get order to develop their plugin. If they are uh, special, like special, like if they are uh, like, professional uh, engineer, they can develop a plugin easily, but some are not. So to develop additional their plugin, you will get an order. That is the way how we like run our team. Okay, thank you very much, Heidi. Mm, we are run of uh, run out of time. So we thank you for your presentation and for your talk. Uh, again, uh, you can, uh, for all the questions uh, that the people may have, um, we have a, a nice break. Uh, so uh, everyone maybe is gonna ask you the other, other questions. <laughs> okay, so, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for your presentation. And thank you very much, Gracia. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much to everyone. So we are going to, to have a break, and then we we we're gonna continue with the post. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, Heidi Miki again. Thank you.